Hello, I'm Vikram Baraskar. Today I'm going to show you how to arrive at a perfect cost, arrive at a perfect concrete cost of a project. Uh, see, we are using Revit software since many years, around 2006, and uh, we have done uh, many projects. Uh, for example, take this project, and this is a project named as Eon, and it is located in Pune. The area of the project is around 1.5 million square feet, and uh, we were doing the RCC auditing of this project. The problem we faced that uh, there were around six to seven concrete grades, and the project duration was around 37 months. And we faced many difficulties as the concrete cost used to get changed frequently, and uh, it was very difficult to come at a perfect cost due to this variation. So we thought of this new tool that is concrete setting. So I will demonstrate how to use this tool and arrive at a perfect final cost of a concrete project. So let us open this tool, concrete setting. I have two grades, M35 and M45. I have the cost of that uh, grades, approximate cost. I already set these settings. Now I will place few foundations. I also added the phases to this project. These are the phases, five phases, January, February, March, April, and May. These are the phases of the projects. So let us open the foundation tool. So I will use Y symmetry. So let us select the foundation sizes. Suppose these are the five foundations I am going to lay in the month of January. The grade is M40. So after laying this five foundation, I will add columns to it. I am going to use the single level column. Level is from level 1 to 2. Again, I will use Y symmetry. The phase will be naturally January. And grade is M35. Go on selecting the columns. So this way, I have added five foundations and five columns in the project with the phase January. Now what happens the cost, suppose the cost has changed. These are the same grades we are using and the cost has changed from say the 4000 cost becomes 4500 and the M40 grade becomes 5500. So let us save it and close it. Now open the foundation manager. Select Y symmetry and add the columns. The phase is February. See, automatically the cost has been updated and earlier cost has been kept as it is. It has been retained. So now I will add columns to it with the grade M35 and the new cost and the phase will be February. Select Y symmetry so I can accelerate the procedure, this laying procedure. The month is February. You can see the latest cost in this cost column. Now again cost changes. In the month of March, the cost changes to say 4250. 
and 5 to 5 0. Save these settings. Again, open this foundation dump box. Add the foundations using Y symmetry. The month is March. See, the cost has automatically updated. I am going to use the M40 grade of the concrete. Now I will add columns. from level 1 to 2 with Y symmetry. The phase is March. Go on selecting the columns. See the these columns are automatically populated. You can see here the values they have been automatically populated. The cost of concrete has changed. The previous cost has been retained. So I have completed this demonstration of adding the building structures, building components in the drawing. Now let us get the out of, output of this project. So select reports, select structural foundations. You can name it as you want. Now, let us save this in the Excel file, P7. I will overwrite the earlier file. Now, I will select the available fields. Suppose I want count, then concrete mix, then concrete cost. See, I am not selecting this cost. This belongs to Revit. Then, select family and type. Then, phase created and say volume. So these are the fields I require. I am going to arrange them now. So I will drag this concrete mix here. Concrete cost, volume, phrase created. Okay. I will not use any filter for this project. And I am going to sort it first by family and type, then by phrase created, and then by concrete cost. I will remove this checkbox. Deselect this checkbox. So you get output in Excel sheet. So let us open the file. You can see five, color, five foundations in the month of January of this family this size, single volume or volume of a single foundation, its concrete grade, its cost in the month of January and its multiplication, the cost and the volume. So five foundations in the month of February, this is the size of the foundation. You can see the final cost. The cost has automatically updated. And same thing happened with the month of, uh, same thing happened in the month March. This is the total cost. Now let us get the output for concrete columns. Sorry, select reports. Select columns. I will write, I will name the file as say P8. I will overwrite the file. Now select the fields. Suppose I want count, family and type, then phase created. Volume, you can select levels if you want. Or in fact, I want a concrete mix and concrete cost. Let, let us the group them by family and type, then by phase created. We have done this earlier and concrete cost.
let us open the file you can see five columns in the month of january with volume 0.41 of a single column then cost of concrete is 4000 grade is m35 and this is the total cost you can see the cost variation and the total final cost so in this way you can arrive at a perfect final cost of the project using this tool concrete setting thank you if you like my this video please subscribe to my channel please share this video thank you thank you very much